My name is Nora Yunus. I was born in Cairo, grew up in Cairo, studied English literature in Cairo. Um, I'm now 34 years and my relationship to politics actually started with uh, the Palestinian uh, movement. I was part of the Egyptian uh, committee to support uh, the uh, Palestinian Intifada. And I was participating in a lot of meetings, demonstrations, uh, and all the group activities. But then I was completely, I don't know what to say, shocked with the US invasion of Iraq, or maybe depressed. Like, in a single moment, just with the invasion of Baghdad, I decided not to watch news anymore. I completely disconnected. I no longer listened to the radio. I did not read newspapers. I didn't want to know what was happening because just I couldn't take it. Later on, I realized that I missed so much because I later learned that on, on the 20th of March, 2003, there were 20,000 Egyptians demonstrating in Tahrir Square. And this was the largest ever demonstration that Egypt witnessed. And later, I felt that I missed so much because I did not participate in it just because I wanted to shut my ears off. Thank God I lived to witness a revolution <laughs> and even bigger demonstrations. So something paid back at the end. But uh, after years of disconnection, like this was from 2003, in, I, I returned back to politics in 2005. Uh, it was a whole, like I was working in a project in Venezuela. I was completely dis disconnected from what's happening in Egypt and the Middle East. And I was still in this state that I didn't want to know what was happening. And I felt like I will not be able to change it myself. So I didn't want to know. I returned to Egypt and uh, I had an opportunity to work uh, on a project uh, with a film crew from PBS. Uh, and it, they were making a documentary about the state of democracy in Egypt. And I found myself in the middle of all those interviews with all those political leaders and activists and dissidents in Egypt. I was listening to everything, translating, uh, you know, helping with everything. And then I just found myself digesting so much information. And I realized that there is so much happening now in the country that completely brought me back. <laughs>